So today's tutorial is on this blue makeup look. I don't know, I was feeling really inspired by blue and the orange for summer, so I just kind of winged it and came up with this cool, smoky blue look. But these colors are really, really flattering to brown eyes, so if you have brown eyes and you do this look, it's gonna make your eyes pop. All right guys, so let's get started. We're gonna start off with this Laneige BB cushion, and this one's really nice because it has an SPF 50, and it's gonna help illuminate the skin and make it look soft. For my foundation, I'm going in with MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC30. It's my favorite foundation at the moment. And for my bronzer, I'm using this ridiculous book of little black book of bronzers from Too Faced. And I'm just going to use it to warm up the skin all over. On the eyes, I'm starting out by applying MAC Painterly as my base. And I skipped over my brows, you guys, but there is a link in the info box below. I'm starting by applying this light color called Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek and it's a shimmery white color that I'm going to apply right along the brow bone. Next I'm taking this color called Neptune from Makeup Geek and I actually ended up using a MAC 222 brush. This is a smaller crease brush and I'm just going to get it right in the crease and then slightly blend it upwards. Then to soften the transition I'm taking this lighter blue shimmery shade and adding it above the crease. On the lid, I'm using this awesome bright blue tone and I'm using a small flat brush and I'm packing that onto the lid and you really want to use a patting motion to get it nice and bright. Then I wanted to add a little bit of darker blue to the outer corner. This wasn't as effective because there was already so much shadow on there, but I just kind of placed it on top to give it a little more depth. Next I'm using these Ola Henriksen Truth To Go Wipes to clean out all the fallout from underneath my eyes. And I always like to add my under eye concealer before I I put on my eyeliner and before I put any shadow on the tear duct area so I'm using this powder from Monica Dar Cosmetics and I'm taking the same shade that we used on the brow bone and I'm adding it to the tear duct areas of the eyes then to make things pop I'm taking this shimmer liner from Nika K New York and I'm lining it just above where I'm gonna put the black liner and this eyeliner is awesome because it's smudge proof then I'm going in with my trusty NYC liquid liner, you guys know this is my fave, and I'm just going to do a wing because, well, I'm addicted to it and I can't live without it. On the waterline, I'm using a navy blue liner from iTeeny, and then I took that same blue shadow that we used on the eyes and really smudged it out. For my lashes, I'm applying this Be A Bombshell mascara. It's a lengthening mascara, so you're supposed to apply two to three coats for the full effect. And I had to add some falsies. These are Pixie Lux lashes from House of Lashes, and these bottom lashes are cheapy lashes from Daiso. They were like $1.50. That's my jam, my new favorite store at the moment. Now that we're all done with the eyes, we're just going to finish off with the lips and a few finishing touches. This lip liner is from Bare Minerals. It's called Thrilled. And then I put a little bit of MAC Myth lip gloss in the middle. To finish the lips, I'm adding NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair and this lip gloss tastes really sweet and it's nice and buttery soft and it's not sticky. For my highlight, I'm using this powder called Crystal Baby from Estee Lauder. It's just okay. I bought it because everyone was talking about it, but it was alright. I wanted to add a little bit of blush, so I took this blush palette from City Color and I'm just taking a peachy tone and putting it right on the apples of my cheeks. And last but not least, from my Ipsy Glam bag, this month's bag was actually designed by Rebecca Minkoff. I'm going to apply a little bit of this perfume sample. It's called Real Tree Perfume and it's called that because it has floral and fruity notes and it actually smells really nice. So that was the whole video. I hope you guys like it, you like this look, and that it's easy to recreate. Don't judge my eyebrows today, okay? My eyebrows are like a little bit overgrown. I need to take like a lawnmower to them. <laughs> so right now I'm in, I'm kind of in a creative rut right now, you guys. Like I was off coming off my like Maleficent high. So I wanna know your guys' video suggestions. What do you wanna see? And for my next video, I'm gonna pick one of your comments below and do the video on it because I wanna know what you guys wanna see. Oh yeah, so I don't know, like I have a bunch of props 
sitting around the studio from like my Dolly video with Promise. In my Maleficent video, I have those horns that I made. So if anyone wants them, I know it's kind of ridiculous, but I would like love to give them away to anyone who wants to use them to take pictures or do a video. So let me know if that's something you guys are interested in because they're not doing anything but sitting around and freaking people out here. So yeah, um, in case didn't notice, I cut my hair. Actually, my hair was already a short, but I was wearing like a million extensions and they're driving me crazy. And actually, I'm still wearing extensions, but my hair is really short. These are from Virgin Hair Fantasy. If you guys want to try their hair, I really recommend it. Use my discount code CRISPY and you'll get money off when you check out. Oh, I got this phone case at um, Daiso. It was like 150. Hey. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. Hello. No pasa nada. Snapchat. Snapchat, Snapchat. Don't mind my makeup. <laughs>